Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. Today I want to talk about the uh, the three Palace lads that played in the England against Switzerland game last night as a recording of this uh, particular podcast. But um, I hope you've seen it, because if you haven't seen it, I'm going to be giving away a few spoilers, but uh, if you haven't seen it, go check out the game and then come back and listen to what I have to say. So we had three players who uh, were picked for the England squad for the games against Switzerland and uh, Ivory Coast, and that was Conor Gallagher, Mark Gahey, and Tarek Mitchell. And I have to say, before the game, I wasn't entirely sure uh, that they would all get a go. I thought that, you know, maybe one or two of them would play, and that maybe the others would sit out on the bench, maybe play the next game or something like that. But I was really, really, really pleased to see that Conor Gallagher and Mark Gahey were on from the beginning. They were um, they were playing from the start, and that was great. It was really great to see it. England, I think, were a little bit slow. You know, not quite as sleek and as um, you know free movement and flowing as they have been in previous games. I know they're losing. I know they've lost a few players due to injury and stuff like that. But uh, you know, they seem to be a little bit laboured. You know, not quite as uh, on the ball, pardon the pun, as uh, they usually are. Switzerland, to their credit, did give England a good. A good game you know they played well they were closing down they were hassling for the ball and they were making some very good chances themselves Pickford had to make a couple of very good saves so you know it was all in all it was a good game you know and we managed to win it 2-1 which is of course is great I think we're a little bit fortunate to get the second goal it was a it was a it was a handball by the Swiss player but um, I don't think we were necessarily creating that much in open play that we would have got the goal anyway but uh, obviously Harry Kane put that away, and that was uh, that was two one to us. But as I say, the great it was great to see the three lads playing. Gay he had a great game at the back. He wasn't responsible for the goal that we conceded, and um, you know, and I think he made some good interceptions. He was tracking back well. He was marking well, and uh, he was doing really good. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed seeing him play in the England shirt, and also he um, he was the one who headed the ball against the arm. Of the player for the penalty he's the one who brought the penalty attention uh first of all it was his involvement that led to the penalty so yeah, and that was good from his point of view you know aerially he was great in the box when they were coming up the corners you know he overall he was just playing like a different palace which is obviously how you want him to play conor gallagher again typical conor gallagher really he was running all over the pitch as he does for palace he was making himself available you know he was waiting to a pass he was things like this he was getting involved in the game and uh, he also got the assist, which led to the goal. So um, right out to the first goal. So that was great. I mean, you know, he he was playing very well, and he was his usual energetic self, running all over the pitch. And uh, he came off uh, just after half time. But um, it was great. It was great to see him play, and uh, it was great to see the energy that he puts into the game. And even the commentators were saying that he hadn't done himself any any harm at all in that game. He played incredibly well. Tarek Mitchell came on around the 60-something minute, and uh, so he played the last 30 minutes, and I thought he was very good as well. He was chasing back, he was, uh, you know, harrying for the ball, he was he was putting in great crosses for Harry Kane, one fantastic fantastic cross that came in that was just outside um, a really headable area, but um, Harry Kane got his head onto it, but it was saved. So, uh, yeah, he was putting some good crosses in, he was tracking back, he was working hard, I, th I thought he'd done a very good game as well. I think Gareth, Gareth Southgate is going to have a bit of a headache now. You know, those players have um, shown that they are capable of playing senior level in England. And uh, I, I think he's going to have a bit of a headache now. You know, I mean, Maguire is in the squad, but Maguire hasn't really had that good a season for me. You know, last season, um, he was he was kind of OK. This season, he's really had a poor run of form. And I think that maybe um, Southgate is looking for other alternatives. And uh, I'm not sure the other two defenders at the back um, were as good Gahey certainly was the outstanding man at the back for me and Tarek Mitchell when he came on so um, so yeah it's good and I think Conor Gallagher in the middle gave them options gave them a bit of mobility gave them a way out if they were in the in a tight spot as well he was always making himself available and uh, it seems like we missed that a little bit when he came off you know we were, we were kind of missing that exit you know missing that option where do you throw it to who do you kick it to you know Conor was always available he was always there waiting for the ball so um, I think that they missed that a little bit in the last 30 minutes, but fantastic performance by the lads. I really, really, really enjoyed the game. And uh, hopefully at least one or more of them will get a game against the uh, Ivory Coast. And we may even see Wilfred Zaha 
playing for the Ivory Coast. That would be something special to see Zaha on the Ivory Coast side and uh, maybe one, two or even three of our guys on the England side. That would be fantastic. Let me know your thoughts. So how do you think each player played? Do you think that they uh, have now kind of made a good case for staying in the squad maybe long term? But how do you think we were going to, how do you think we're going to line up against uh, the Ivory Coast? Do you think we're going to be in the squad again for the Ivory Coast or do you think these now, Gauss, I think it's going to play things around a bit, maybe ch chop and change a few players. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, and uh, also your thoughts on the game itself, how you thought it went. But uh, that's it for me. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.